What's going on, YouTube? Another update here for the hot tub aquaponic garden with my new camera. Which I can actually see what's going on in the viewfinder. And if you caught the other video, you'll see why. But as you can see, everything is looking gigantic. Everything's looking great. We just do a big walk around before we even get into the update here. As you can see, everything's sticking up all nice and tall. Strawberry is sticking up over the container, well over all my runners. Doing nice, getting ready to fruit. So I guess we'll start right over here with uh, got these gigantic carrots here. Looking nice. They're so big, they're falling over still. And garlic over here, looking pretty good. Getting a few more uh, extra, whatever these are called, peels or whatever, off of here. So we've got quite a few. I've cut a couple of them off already. So, we've already got, well, one, two, three, four uh, on there right, yeah, four on there, five on there right now, huh? And I've already cut a couple off, so I believe the magic number is seven. I could be wrong about that, but we're going to keep on going as long as we can and see how big it gets. I took a jalapeno, threw him right over here, and um, lettuce, looking beautiful, starting to stick up, actually starting to branch out and everything. Looking awesome. Uh, right back here, my mucho nacho. Got some jalapenos already starting to form. One there, one right behind it. Not looking so bad. Go beyond that, there's my Cajun bell. Look at that stuff, man. That thing's flowering like crazy. We've got one fruit right here behind my finger. Got another one right here, another one right there, another one forming right here. We just got all kind of peppers pepping. And another one right up here, looking awesome. My cow horn here is also starting to fruit. You see there, we've got, uh, I don't know, you can't see. There we go. Uh, you can see I got one little fruit right here and a couple flowers going on, not so bad. Uh, my mammoth jalapeno, starting to branch off at the top. No fruit yet, but that's okay. I got all the time in the world right now. Right over here, well, at least all the summertime of the world. Right over here, you can see I got my green bells here, not looking uh, that bad. And my jalapenos starting to come back pretty good. Been trimming some of these leaves off, like even this leaf looks really crappy here. Uh, you can actually see that with this camera, that's nice. Uh, little tiny jalapeno, look at that, it's starting to look beautiful. I had to trim some of the bottom branches off, as you can see. But I did that on just about every single one of my peppers here. There were a lot of them that were looking kind of crappy. Pak choy, look at this sucker, man. This thing's already starting to look nice. I mean, there's my hand. You can see it's nice and big. It's starting to get a little dense. Got a couple of his friends right here behind him. Looking nice. Hidden behind my grasshopper here, which is my little grasshopper. I uh, got some more kale here. This is the blue kale right here. And there's the red kale right here, this little guy. He's not so big, but he's getting there. And this gigantic Swiss shard here, looking beautiful, awesome. Getting uh, encroached here by my uh, arugula. As you can see, everything moving is my arugula. It's gigantic. It's uh, actually starting to overshadow all of my, uh, well, my Swiss shard here. But it's also overshadowing right here with my uh, strawberries, not tomatoes, strawberries, which are sticking up gigantic. Look at that growth, man. Like, they're just really, really tall. Making me proud. Got some more pak choy up here. All these guys up front looking absolutely lush and beautiful. Got to trim a few more leaves there, but as you can see, I've still got a whole bunch of more. Uh, a whole bunch of more. That's correct English, people. Um, a whole bunch more. Uh, pak choy in the back here. Looking absolutely beautiful. Like I've said, I'm just trying to crowd them as close as I can uh, to the point where they still grow and uh, produce. But, uh, you know, see how close we can get them and how close it'll work. Uh, got some more kale. This kale is looking a heck of a lot better right here. This would be uh, the red kale. And a blue kale right behind it there, looking nice. I went ahead and transplanted some more um, peppers back there. 
That's my Radicchio. Looking nice. This, uh, this would be a Dragon Cayenne right here. Starting to flower. Looking really nice. And right behind it, I've got these two are jalapenos. These two back here are hot bananas. And I can't remember what the heck this one is. It's a pepper. And let's move on. Check out the size of this tomato here. Looking gigantic, man. He wasn't this big last week. And starting flower. All right, so we got that guy going. Got another jalapeno right here. Look at that uh, ugly gr uh, leaf growth right here. And the beautiful leaf growth right there. Freak hot pepper, it's starting to take off a little bit. Same with this freak hot pepper. Starting to love life. Another one of my uh, strawberries. This is a tomato, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's looking like it might be ready to start flowering, but we'll find out soon. Right next to it, these two guys here, both the indigo rose, looking pretty nice. No flowers yet, but they're coming. Lots of carrots all over the place, right below it, as you can see all through there. Got all kind of carrots <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> Just went a little crazy with the seeds there. And this gigantic carrot tree right there looking pretty good. Another uh, red kale looking really nice. Blue kale right behind it looking awesome behind that. Some more Swiss chard looking very, very nice. Behind that we've got my Barker's Hot. And as you can see, we've got already uh, a few peppers starting to form here. There's one right there. And a few flowers on there. My Cajun Bell. Or no, my Mexi Bell. I'm sorry. All right. Look at the size of this fruit already. Looking awesome. And there's another one right here. And a bunch of them all over the top. They're just starting to pop off like crazy. So that is excellent. Right back here, my Roma. Got at least one. Got some more flowers right, oh, right over there. As long as I don't get the leaves covering it up. Some more uh, flowers right up there. And it's looking very well as well. Ah, that was dumb. But uh, got some more right back here. I believe that one. Or no, these both are green bell. And kind of excited to see if I actually get my first green bell this year. I really have never gotten a green bell before. Um, got another pepper right here. It's kind of looking droopy a little bit, but that's because it was topped way down here. And this is just one gigantic stem that's sticking right up. And I believe that is another jalapeno. Might be wrong on that one. Moving right along, like I said, these are all my runners and the hydro tube here. Um, this one right here was actually fruiting this year, and I think there was a couple more. Oh, here's one fruiting right here. We actually have a nice little strawberry there. Awesome. That'll be gone by the time this video is up. <laughs> It'll be gone by the time I'm out of the greenhouse. But as you can see, everything else is looking very nice. Water quality is not looking so hot, but uh, those fish don't seem to mind. And as you can see, they're swimming around. Water level is up a little bit. Um, right over there, that pipe is my water marker, and that's what I like to keep my water level at. So I've got a couple more inches to go, and this water level will be right up where it should be. Right over here. What the heck is going on over here? This is just a complete jumbled mess and the next video I said it last video but this next video this purple sage will be gone because look at this it is absolutely gigantic it is like pretty much encroaching on my habanero here which is flowering and check it out I've got my very first uh, habanero I got one last year but I left it on the plant too long and it actually I never got to get it but this year we're going to. Got some more fruit right here. Another one right here. So not so bad. That's why I need to get rid of this pineapple sage here. It's really gigantic. Look at this. I mean, it's just crazy. And gotta move the whole uh, part of the plants, I guess. Right back here you can see my mint. 
And right behind that is my lemon balm and my purple basil here, which is starting to flower there, as you can see there, and like right in here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and move the purple basil too. You can see the mint back here, really starting to take over, just like everybody told me it would. And I thought it would, but I was just setting it here for the time being, and that's where it's remained. So it needs to go ahead and find a new home. Got a little tiny, scraggly looking onion here, but that's not too bad. Um, right over here on the, dang man, freaking pineapple sage. My poblano, it's trying to grow, but like I said, the sage is really getting in the way. So, uh, again, I need to get that out of here. Uh, the background here with the dark stem there, that would be my indigo rose. And right up here, we've got some flowers forming. So, I should be starting to get some uh, uh, actual uh, indigo rose tomatoes off of it. And I also threw, I believe this is another banana pepper right here. Malabar starting to take off. Not too bad, finally. It's been uh, hovering down there, way down here at this level, and now it's actually starting to take off up to there. So we're actually getting some growth. Right over here, some more of my volunteer um, tomatoes, and they're not looking so bad. I believe we've got a little bit of flower clusters in that cluster. Uh, it's all just kind of bunched up, and it's all new growth. We've got a little bit of flowering going on right here. See, just barely, it's just starting. And I believe, yep, that's about it. One thing I didn't mention with uh, this filter here, um, obviously I got some aeration going in there and it's actually working pretty nice. What I did was I went ahead and added an extension pipe there. That way it would actually drain way down there instead of splashing all this stuff. As you can see, there's like mold and all kind of crap all over this. And that's pretty much telling me that I'm probably going to have to replace all these 2x4s uh, probably in the winter. Which means i got to move the beds and move the filter and everything and replumb. So that ought to be fun. Move right over here. You can see the strawberry box. The box actually is right here. So as you can see, we've got quite the strawberry growth above the box, which is great. I love this. Every year, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, we got more flowers going in there. Um, probably more fruit in here, and I probably can't see it. All kind of fun stuff. Let's see, there's fruit right there. Not looking too bad. Needs another day or so. And as you can see, it's just really dense inside here. Just growth all over the place definitely need to trim some of these leaves out of here but more flowers more flowers some more fruit going everything looking beautiful over in this corner look at all this new growth I mean it's just absolutely amazing look at it look at all those stems those are all from what do we got here three different plants four different plants something like that sticking all up nice and tall over here let's see nope Huh. Not too much fruit in here, actually. Maybe. Nope, not really in this corner either. Okay. So, they're not really fruiting, just like all these other runners. Just like, uh, check this out. These guys are really sticking up nice and tall. Same with these guys right over here. These ones right over here. Nice. Starting to run, as you can see. This one's actually trying to produce. It's got a crappy looking berry right there. Might feed that to the chicken. But everything else is looking quite nice. And as you can see, these are all the runners, like I said. And pretty much, I believe the rule of thumb is the first year they don't produce and the second year they do. Not exactly sure, but got another runner right over here, which actually has a leaf on it up on there. Not looking so bad. And right on back over to the beginning. So, not too bad. Quick little look around. And that's what I got growing on this week. Like I said, I got to take care of all those herbs over there and move them and figure out a place to put them. Hopefully I can divide them up and put a couple in here and maybe a couple in my dirt garden.
But that's all we got going on this week. Got some more construction going on in the other bed, so don't forget to stay tuned for that. That video should be coming out on Thursday. So, till then, later.